People just outside of Lawrence are coming together tonight after a fire destroyed their 100-year-old church. It happened near Clinton Lake early this morning at the Presbyterian Church there. KSNT's Raina Garcia is live in Douglas County to tell us what they say is keeping their spirits up despite this devastating loss. Raina. Brooke Jace, Clinton Presbyterian Church is just over 100 years old. And in addition to being a landmark in the community, it's also a source of pride. But now all that remains is charred rubble. Neighbors watched in horror as Clinton Presbyterian Church went up in flames early this morning. Investigators say it's likely it was struck by lightning. I don't know. Is the house on fire? After learning about the fire, longtime church member Charles Thomas rushed to the scene to assess the damage. It was hard for me to believe that our church was gone. Um, and I was glad nobody was here, nobody was hurt. And I thought, you know, the rest of it, we'll just take care of it. Like Charles, Phyllis Anderson also grew up in the church. It was just like, oh my gosh, how can that be? She was devastated to see what was left of it. I was flooded with all the thoughts of, oh no, the all of our memorials are gone and our old communion table. People within the community and from surrounding areas didn't hesitate to offer their help and support. A few of those families that are still fairly close drove over here to see it and so that was you know um, just like oh my gosh it still means a lot to them even though they don't come to church here yeah. you know uh, it, it was their church that's where they grew up for many the church was a place where people could come together whether they were a member or not it is really a church that welcomes everybody we are we are a group of people who come together that care about one another. While the building may be gone, its congregation remains strong. It's not the building, it's the people, and we have to find a way forward. You know, we're, um, we will find a way forward. While they did have to cancel their annual Labor Day breakfast, they will still be having services this Sunday at the Clinton Lake Historical Society. Live in Douglas County, Raina Garcia, KSNT News. All right, thank you, Raina. And if you'd like to help out, the church has created a GoFundMe account. Yeah, a resilient group there. You can find the link to that on our website at ksnt.com.